Okay, today I'm going to do a little video on how I mix up my recipe for my paint and my pour paintings. Uh, I'm, I made a spreadsheet that I use to calculate how much paint that I need for each size of canvas. Uh, I've got a copy of this spreadsheet in my Facebook group. It's Pour Painting by Double Reno Group. If you just search that or you can look down in the description there will be a link to it. But all you do is you come in and you put in the size of your canvas and the paint that I'm mixing up for this video I'm going to use in the pour painting uh, after I get done with this video. So my canvas is going to be a 14 inch by 14 inch. So it gives you total square inches. Everything I do is by weight. It's done by grams and I weigh it on the scale. That way I can be consistent with my recipe. I know I get pretty close to the same thing every time. So it comes figures up per square inch how many grams of paint that you need for this particular size painting. And then I put in here how many colors. This particular one I'm mixing four colors. So I need 91.87 grams of paint per color. And then I come over here and my recipe is roughly 50% flow troll, which that's the flow troll there. 50% glue and I just use this Amazon Basics glue. And I've got links to all this stuff down in my description too. And then the paint in uh, this particular one, I'm using the Artist Loft uh, Flow Acrylics. So 25% paint. Sorry, I got a shadow on that. And then I use 5% water. And I just got a little bottle with purified water in it. And then, so you come down here, so it tells you you need 91.87, so it breaks it down how many grams of each one you need. So the flow troll is 45, which I round that up to 46. The glue, I round it down to 18. The paint, it's 22.97, I rounded up to 23, and the water I rounded that down to 4. So it gives me a total of 92 grams. And that's, that's with the es without the estimates. It ends up being a little bit different. And then if you add silicone, that's something you can do different. So and if you come back over here, I broke this out. I'm going to do, this is my recipe. This is the same numbers that are here, rounded up and down. And then I've got my four colors here. i got green, blue, white, and orange. So I need, I'll weigh up to 46 grams, then I'll go up to 64 when I add the glue, up to 87 when I add the paint, up to 91 when I add the water, and that's when I know which paint's the way it's supposed to be. So I'm going to reset up, and we'll, I'll show you this, I'll actually demonstrate this. Now on the orange, I'm using red, I'm breaking out the red, uh, I think I'm going to do red, 9 grams, and then yellow, 14 grams to get my 23 there. And that's going to create my orange for this particular painting. So I'm going to reset up and then we'll start pouring it and I'll show you exactly how I use this part. I did one color and uh, I'm going to make an adjustment because this scale, this new scale, it times out real quick. So in the middle of doing my mix, it timed out on the weight. So, uh, and, and it made me start thinking about this and this is probably actually an easier way. Instead of doing the totals up here, I'm just going to put, put my cup on here. Then I tear my scale down to zero. So then I'm going to put my 46 grams of flow troll in. And I'm going to do this one color on video and then uh, I may fast forward through another color. But you'll, you'll understand what I'm doing without seeing me mix every single color. You don't think you have to watch it four times to, to get it. Okay, so I went one gram over. That's 47. So now what I'm going to do, instead of doing all these totals and everything, I'm just going to go ahead and, and re-tear my scale, set it back to zero, and then I'm going to come in and then add the 18 grams of paint. I'm sorry, of glue. Okay, so now I'm at 18 grams. Actually went to 19. That's fine too. So I'm going to zero it back out again. Then I'm going to come in and add my paint and we're going to do blue this time. So I'm going to put 23 grams of the blue paint in. So I zero my scale and then I'll just keep going up till I get back to 23. Okay, and then I'll zero it again, and then I'll come in and add my four grams of water. And the water, you can adjust the water. I'll show you what my mix looks like as far as consistency. Okay, and I got my little stir sticks. 
So I'm going to slide that out of the way. We'll go ahead and mix this one up on camera. And that way you can see what the consistency of this mix is. And if you don't like the consistency, if you want it thicker or thinner, all you got to do is just add or subtract a little bit of water and you'll get what you want. But I'm really happy with this recipe. It dries, the colors dry uh, very true. And they dry with a pretty good sheen on them. And as soon as I get done mixing all this, I'm going to do another video. I'm going to do a colander pour. So I'll put a link in this video up here in the top to the uh, colander pour so you can see how the painting actually comes out with this recipe. This is the recipe I use on just about everything at this point. This is kind of the one I've developed and like. So I've kind of stuck with it. So I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this. Everyone says, you know, it pours off your stick and it mounds for just a second before it falls back into paint. And I've seen other people that have done it and they mix a thicker solution. Uh, this works good for me, so I'm going to kind of stick with it. But I can always add, add water and if I get it too thin, I'll come back and add just a little bit of glue. The glue will thicken it a little. So if you ever get it mixed and it's too thin, add a little glue. If it's too thick, add a little bit of water. So you can make adjustments and it won't change your color any. So there we go. So that's a blue one right there. So I'll go ahead and mix one more color. Uh, I'll go ahead and do the orange, which I'm going to do with two separate colors. I'll do that fast forward on the video. And basically I'm going to put, uh, out of the 23 grams, I'm going to do 14 grams of yellow and 9 grams of red to come up with my orange color. So I'll do one more fast forward and then uh, I'll come back and we'll kind of talk about it. Okay, now I've got it. I've got all four of my colors. Uh, I'm sitting here thinking, uh, that's the bad thing about doing some of this stuff on video, is I'm thinking about the video, not thinking about what I'm doing. I'm not positive if I added the water in on the green paint. So if I did not, I will go back and I'll watch the video when I get done here and see whether I added the water into the green paint or not. It looks pretty good, consistent look, consistency, but uh, I'll go back and check it. If I need to add water, I'll add water to that. But there's my four colors, all done by weight. And the thing is, by doing it by weight and using a recipe that you keep, you can, I can reproduce any of these colors and consistency on a regular basis, especially when you're starting to, you know, mix colors. So, you know, I can know and I'll keep a book that, you know, that was 14, yellow, 14 grams of yellow, 9 grams of red to get this orange color. So that way I can reproduce that color. If later on I like that in a painting and I want to reproduce it, I can. So... Anyway, I appreciate you watching. Uh, if you go to my Facebook page, uh, it's Poor Painting by Double Reno, and then Poor Painting by Double Reno is the group, or yeah, it's Poor Painting by Double Reno group is the group page, and then there's the file section to the left, and it's got the uh, it's got this sheet right here on it that you can use for the it shows the recipe and it used to figure out how much paint you need for each one. It's pretty handy, and I mean it works pretty good. I've used it on probably ten or fifteen paintings. Use the the calculator and come out with pretty close to the right amount of paint every time so I think it helps keeps you from wasting paint or not you know or even worse than that you know getting a painting and not having enough paint made up so anyway I appreciate you watching please like and subscribe and then check out the video that's going to follow this one that's going to be the uh, colander pour thanks for watching bye